This is the perfect, what's it called when you? Segway. Perfect one. Welcome because back. neither are most people that heard about this list. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Nailed it. I'm He's Dan. Dan. I'm Sean. Tonight, uh -huh. we're talking about some 1792 fall proof. And there's a pretty good reason. No reason. Yeah, it means we're picking it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Intro. All That again. So, there's a reason we're talking about 1794 proof tonight, and that's because a very reputable list just came out. <laughs> okay. The worst the an angelic, heavenly, noise <clears throat> impression I've ever I'm not heard. Not warmed up, bro. You got you got a scratchy throat. Yeah, I'm not warmed up. It's, so, you know, what we're gonna talk about is the Jim. I'm gonna call it Jim Murray's. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. See, it's an A-Y, not an E-Y. Mm -hmm. Jim right. Murray. Okay. His whiskey Bible. Yeah. The 2020 whiskey Bible just came out. Put that a Bible. I'd love to know, and I don't know this, but I would love to know why it's not the 2019 since the 2020 whiskey's not out yet. You know. Fuck you, that's why. Okay. That could be a good reason. Yeah. I feel like that's fair. Bible just came out. It was released like a week or so ago. Yep. And... The reason it's probably, I mean, it's talked about every year, but one of the reasons it's so talked about this year is because 1792 Foolproof won first place for bourbon or whiskey. It is, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's whiskey and it's not bourbon because Handy was third. Mm -hmm. So that means it included rye. Yeah. So it's a whiskey. And then W. W was too. But that's bourbon. Yeah. So I'm thinking like maybe he just picked it for bourbon. He no. didn't. He picked it over everything. Everything. Rise. Yep. Whiskeys. Your mind is now getting reblown. <laughs> it's getting worse as we go through yeah. this. Glad we could all experience this together. You're welcome. No, but what happened was the Whiskey Bible for 2020 came out and 1792 Foolproof won said award for first place of whiskey. Here's the weird thing about it. Yeah. Besides that, that was the whiskey that won. Because this isn't bad whiskey. No. We're not talking about bad whiskey. We don't we talk bad about whiskey. It's never. Anyways, uh, no, people were saying that because of that, uh, maybe they're having a little issue trying to find 1792 foolproof. People are posting pictures on Instagram right now of Sold shelves. the F out. Yeah, of shelves that are empty that used to have a 1792 foolproof tag under them. Now, there's going to be a couple of reasons. People who were kind of into whiskey and haven't had it are now buying it. Yes. The other reason is people who um, do secondary market activity. Yep. Are like, oh my gosh, it's about to explode. Foolproof is the best thing ever. Go buy nine cases. So now they're going to buy it and they think they're going to resell it inevitably. Mm -hmm. What we actually want to talk about was if you can't find 1792 Foolproof, we're going to start with a couple whiskeys you can find instead of those whiskeys probably. Yeah. Um, that we think are close enough that I don't think you're missing out by drinking these and I don't think you're just blowing 1792 Foolproof out of the water by drinking these either. No. So, um, the first whiskey, I'm going to go with the oh, old... Oh, you're going to go with that one? Yeah, it was closer right. to me, so I picked right, it. Cool. You can do that. Um, Russell's Red Label. Now, I think that these... I, I personally recommend or yeah. prefer this one over this one. For sure. Especially if you can find store picks of either of one, I'll always go close to Russell's. Yeah, and I think... It's just... This is a better bottle. It's a little more expensive. Mind yep. you, now that this won an award, this is probably going to be a little more expensive. Hooray. This is supposed to be around 50. This is supposed to be around 60-ish. 60, 55, 60, yeah. yeah. So really, I'm t we're talking same ballpark. Yeah. If you're spending 55, you're spending 60 for a bottle. It ain't the end I'll be off for you. Proof's a little lower on this, but I think that this is a better pour. But I would say if you're looking for this and you really like this, or if you're only looking for this because of the award, yeah. just if you can't find it, look for this. All right, and then uh, I'll pull out oh, something we don't actually, I think, give enough credit to from time to time. Uh, a little bit of barrel, 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 bullet. <laughs> I was so gonna just go with barrel because I'm like, I know. yeah, barrel, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's bullet. Then when you bullet, say bullet, I'm like. I want to say bullet barrel strength. Mm. And um, you know, sometimes, that words just don't work. Barrels in it. <laughs> I think the words work. I don't think the words are the issue, sir. Yeah. There you go. We figured it out. We got to the circle. The issue. <laughs> we got to the um, point. Yeah, but this is going to be right in that same ballpark of I think uh, flavor profile that yep. you get out of 1792 foolproof. Yep. You're going to get with this, albeit not the exact same. No, the but, the point isn't these are identical. Yeah. But same when you exact same thing as refund. the Russells is going to be. It's the same ballpark. Yep. Same flavor profile. This is fifty dollars. 
Cheaper. Same price as full Cheaper fruit. Cheaper than Russell's. <laughs> Cheaper than Russell's, but I still think Russell's is the best on the table right yeah, now. Yeah, you probably know that. Oh, because Russell's is so damn good. Yeah. So here's the thing. Yep. There are I bottles. Guess. We're going to move on. These are what we would recommend that you find if you can't find these and you're looking for it. Yeah. What we're going to move on to now are things that are a little bit lower proof that I think that we actually both enjoy more than these two. Yeah. Right? Yep. Look, so look more, maybe well rounded, well put yeah. together. I Staying think in the wheelhouse. I think here. if a 1792 that that they're still making yep. is going to win this award, bottled and bond should have won the award. Yeah. Now I think the 1792 port is the best 1792 that's out. Period. For but sure. the problem is I don't think they make the port, so I think it was like a pass release. Yeah. And if they do make it, you still can't find it. So no. this is just as readily available 1792 foolproof in yep. most places. And we'll normally always reach for that well before we'll reach for a foolproof I literally anyways. do. Yeah. Every time. I have like started collecting bottle and bond store picks. It's I issue. love them. They're you guys the have best. seen our live stream court. If Maybe. you haven't, come Check over on out. Tuesdays. Yeah. So that would be my recommendation. Hunter proof, same distillery even. So if you like one, you probably like the other. Yeah. Let her rip, dude. Did it blind. Boom! I was waiting for you to pull the wrong, the wrong bottle. bottle. Yeah, that's why I felt the bottle. And we John got a... J. Bowman, single barrel. Specifically the single barrel. Yeah, because they've got the um, small batch yep. and then the, the port yep. finish, which were both good, but mm -hmm. not in the wheelhouse of 1792 full proof. This one, yeah. drastically lower proof. 100. 100. Same as the bottle. We picked same proof. Oh, that's true. Yep. I didn't think of we that. Picked same. Uh, so you're coming off like 124 or something on the yeah, full proof. Yeah, 125. Down to do 100. It's a big, big change, but I'll always go for that. I think, well before I think the these are in. better put together than oh, the That's such a good, the balance. Good drink. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, this is one that we can't find locally. Like, we just went out of town not long ago and picked up the port because I was like, well, we don't have that and I want one. So we bought it. Delicious. Same thing on that. When we run out, we'll probably try to find another one. Think about it like good. this. This is actually basically Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Are we distilled in Virginia? It is. It is. Same mash bill and everything. But they, yeah. it's really good. And if you if you like this, this is on the sweeter side of things. It is. So is this. I really, I don't know. It's one so of those foolproof, though. You know what I think? Oh. I don't even think Thomas Handy belongs on that list because I no. don't think it's that good. I haven't had a Thomas Handy I couldn't live without yet. Yeah. But I've had two WLWs, William Luru Weathers, that I couldn't live without. Yeah. Also can't afford them. There's an entire shelf <laughs> of 1792 store picks over there. I'd smash them all for one bottle of WLW. That's a good point. I feel like that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. But so I think the reason that's frustrating is because which we talked about this a little while ago, but that means he tried those. Yeah. Some of these uh, awards and the ceremonies and stuff, like you see the second and third and they're still not BTAC or something. So it may at least puts it in your head that maybe, maybe they didn't try them. Yeah, maybe, maybe they, they didn't, didn't have, have Yeah, which is fair. Cause yeah. like maybe he was going off like a consumer uh, available list. Yeah. Well, okay, I would yep. get it. If 1792 really matches up for you, you could put that first on stuff that's readily available. Yeah. But if you're putting BTAC and other shit like that. It wasn't an availability issue. Nope. Which made it, that's the part that makes it so weird to me, is there was like, oh, the best consumer available, I would say like, not budget, but good pricing, value whiskey, is foolproof? Be like, oh, okay, sure, whatever, I guess. I, yeah. guess. I don't love it that much, but other people could, whatever. Yep. This was like, had Weller, that, that foolproof beat the shit out of it. Like, what did you just say, sir? At least pick Weller foolproof. Yeah. At least pick Weller foolproof. Really piss people off. At least. Yeah, but needless to say, I personally also think that there are a handful of other bottles that are drastically better than anything on the table right here. All horse 1920. Um, that are around $60 available. Couldn't, couldn't do it, couldn't put it in everywhere. Video. Guess oh. what, dude? Boom, came through right in the middle. Boom, came through right in the middle. Like, we left a lane for it, dude. I'm pulling it out. I'm I don't not, care if this is in every video we ever make, it is that good. I'm just not happy at how well that worked out. <laughs> All right, um, so, needless to say, yeah. thanks for watching. If you like 1792 Foolproof or you're looking for it because of the Whiskey Bible, check some of these other bottles out. For sure. Enjoy some of these other bottles. And if you find a 1792 Foolproof for like 45, 50 Not bucks, a bad buy. You just won't try be disappointed. It. Yeah, it's a good bottle. But I wouldn't pay much more. It's not the best whiskey ever made. But needless to say, that doesn't matter. That's our opinion. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And yeah, have a great day. The proof? And the poor. So we didn't say anything about links in the comment down below. Don't it's have fine. to, dude. Thank you guys know what to do. Thanks. You know. The Morse code winking, dude.
Is it SOS? <laughs> it was fuck.